Good morning, you all. Sorry about the lighting, but go grab a cup of coffee. I have a story for you, and you're not going to want to miss it. I uh, finally can film this, um, even though it's been almost two weeks. Oh my gosh, this lighting is horrible, but that's okay. We'll be better in a minute. But anyway, a situation happened a couple weeks ago, and I'm just now calm enough to be able to discuss it with y'all. So go grab your coffee, and let's have a chat. All right, I am back. So we are enjoying the sunrise together. So here's my story. A couple weeks ago, I went to my coffee house here where I live and um, I forgot they were closed on Tuesdays. So I was like, well, whatever, where can I go to get some work done and have a cup of coffee? So I ended up at a McDonald's right by my house and I grabbed a, an iced coffee and sat down, opened my computer and went to work. And when I walked in, I had noticed um, one older gentleman there at a, a table and he was doing a crossword or something. And then I sat down uh, across the restaurant from him. Um, they had like every other table blocked off, you know, due to COVID and everything, which was great. I was really happy, like, hey, that's really cool. They're whatever, you know, they're following protocol. So a lady comes in, uh, in and she orders some food and she sits across the way from me and stuff. Okay. A gentleman walks past me with a bag of his food <coughs> and says, ah, good morning, ma'am, and walks, keeps walking. He goes, he sits in the corner. I don't think of it again. And... By this point, I had been in there probably 40 minutes or so, uh, you know, working on my computer. I had some stuff I needed to get done. So the manager comes over very, very, I guess, angry. I don't, I'm not even sure how you would describe his demeanor, but he was not very pleasant. You know, he kind of walked with a huff. And so he walked over to the guy that had walked past me and sat in the corner and said real loudly, everybody in the restaurant heard him. You have 30 minutes due to COVID. That's all you're allowed to be in this dining room. I thought to myself, what? 30 minutes? How come he didn't say that to me? How come he didn't say it to the gentleman over there who's been in here longer than I have? Why didn't he say it to the lady across the way from me? He said it just to that man. So I turned around and thought, something's wrong with this. I turned around and evidently, I'm guessing, the man was homeless and he was charging his phones, which this McDonald's has done like a cafe where every spot like has an outlet or a USB port or something so that you can charge your devices and work and et cetera. So that irritated me so horribly, so horribly. And here's why. The rest of us in the restaurant had been there at this point now, probably close to an hour. And the gentleman, um, you know, off to the other side of the restaurant had been there longer than I had. They didn't say anything to any of us, but they picked on the guy in the corner. So I closed up my computer threw my coffee away. I didn't have much left, let's be honest. But I threw my coffee away, walked up to the manager, and I, I was just like, that was rude, and I will not be giving you another dime of my money. And I walked out. 
And here is what, I mean, it's just so irritating to me. I spent $2 something on an iced coffee. I don't even know what I spent, two something. You know, the, the gentleman across the way from me that was doing the newspaper, I don't know, I never saw him drink anything. In the meantime, others had come and joined him with a cup of coffee, but so what? They're all sitting there drinking a cup of coffee and it's senior coffee, so they probably got it for free. Maybe bought one, I don't know. The lady uh, across from me, she had a meal and she even ended up going over and giving the gentleman in the corner something. I don't know what she gave him. But the gentleman in the corner, who I assume is the homeless guy, had like a whole meal, like drink and sandwich. I mean, like he had a whole bag. So why would you pick on him? Have we lost our compassion for people? Have we, I mean, when the gentleman walked past me, I did not even know he was homeless. And to this moment, I am assuming he is homeless. Do I know he is homeless? No, I'm assuming. Because of the way he dressed after I further looked at him. You know, the way he dressed, he only had one bag with him, whatever. You know, but have we lost our compassion for people? He was a paying customer. The outlets are there for paying customers. It's not like he just walked in and sat down. He's a paying customer. And if the rules applied to him to be there 30 minutes because that's the new COVID guideline, why didn't he say that to any of us? Why didn't he say it to the rest of us? I do have plans to go in and perhaps speak with the general manager about what had happened. Um, no, I, I, I will not be back to that McDonald's. Um, number one, I shouldn't be eating McDonald's anyway, but um, we as American people, just as people in general, we have got to start standing up for people, standing up for the person next to us, because guess what? That was so out of line. I mean, I, it was a cold, wet day. If he wasn't a paying customer, eh, okay. I see it because, you know, the restaurant is for paying customers, whatever. <coughs> but he was a paying customer. At least that day he was. So, why? We are all just one step away from being where that gentleman could be. Our world could turn upside down. We all know somebody who is grieving. We all know somebody who is jobless. We all know somebody who um, is fighting their own demons. So why do we have to go out of our way to knock them people down even further? Why can't we just stand up for our fellow human? I mean, come on. <sighs> I don't, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. We are all struggling in one way or another. If we're going to be honest, we are all struggling with something. Do you want somebody to pinpoint you for that? Do you want somebody to harass you for that? How would you feel if you were harassed for that one thing that perhaps you're really struggling with today? I know I don't. I don't need somebody pointing out to me my weight or my gray hair or my, my struggles with anxiety since COVID has started. 
I don't need people pointing that out. I don't need people being mean to me because of it. So here's my suggestion for you today. Go. Be good to yourself because you deserve it. But be kind to the people around you. You never know. You might just be saving a life.